morning. You're in my spot. Move. The seat was assigned to me. It has my name on it. You're new here? Yeah. My name's Jasmine. What's yours? Pain. Because that's what you'll be feeling if you don't move. Rich girl. How would you know if I'm rich or not? I've seen your brothers and your family around the community center flaunting their little money. You think you're better than me because you dress in fancy clothes and have the perfect family? I think it's... No. I just want to get through this class without being bothered. Oops. Move! So that's going to be it for today on Civil War. Please make sure you take those notes and study them because tomorrow we will be having a test. So that's it for today, guys. Um, class is dismissed. Jasmine, how was your first day of school? It was okay. Listen, I had assigned a seat for you, and I saw Trisha instead in it. Did she say anything to you? Um, no, I must have missed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hey, new girl. What now? Don't get feisty with me. Trust, you don't want any problems. It's a fee for new kids, so fork over 20 bucks. 20 bucks? That's all I have on me right now. Are you serious? Just hand it over. You don't have to do this. You don't even know me. Just leave me alone. No, is that so hard? You have one time to play with me. Leave me alone. Hey, Marquis. Hey, sis. How's your first day going? I'm on break right now. Can you please just send me $20? You can take the cash out of my drawer. I thought Mom sent you to school with $20 already. I lost it. Can you please just send me $20? It's not like you at all to lose money. Is everything okay at school? If anyone's messing with you, you can tell me, and I'll have Justin handle it. Please don't send Justin. He'll only make things worse. Fine. I'm sending money now. Don't let anyone know you have a debit card and be safe. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Bye. I gave you the money. Now leave me alone. Alright, but if you can get $20 out of the girl, I know you can get more. You don't want your brother's life to be hard in prison, do you? Leave my brother out of this. Well, then do what we say, little girl. Look, we don't like Jasmine, we don't like her brother, we don't like her dog, we don't like anyone from that rich family, okay? So just do what we say, and you'll have a better day, I promise. But what if she snitches on me? I can't get suspended, my mom's gonna beat me. We don't care. Keep getting money out of the girl, we're gonna beat you. <laughs> Dummy. I don't need your help. By the sound of it, it seems like you do. What did you hear? Everything. And if you think I'm gonna let some bully scam me out of getting my money, you've gotta be on drugs. They made me. Trust me, I don't want anything to do with your family. Your brother's the reason why mine's locked up. Now I have to do it to Quan and Sam to keep mine safe while he's locked up. How do my brothers have anything to do with that? My brother Joshua was hanging with Justin when they both got stopped. Joshua had drugs, but they let Justin go because of your family. Justin would never carry drugs on him. And I didn't know Joshua was your brother. My mom's a lawyer, and she's been trying everything to get Joshua out. We would never let him rot in a jail cell. Your mom's really doing that? She treats Joshua like her own son. We would never let him rot in a jail cell. Look, I'm sorry for how I treated you. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just didn't want them to hurt my brother, so I did what they asked. I understand. They were bullying you and threatening your family. Your hatred is misplaced, though my family would never leave Joshua to rot in a jail cell. Thank you. And again, I'm really sorry. When I get the money, I'll pay you back. I promise. You all right, Jasmine? Yeah. Oh my god, did Marquise call you? He told me to check up on you. He didn't like the way you sounded over the phone. So spill it. Who's messing with you? 
It was me. Why are you messing with my sister? You know me and Joshua are cool. What's your problem? Calm down, Justin. It wasn't her fault. It was Daquan and Sam telling her to take my money. It was not her fault. So they're the ones who beat Joshua up in bookings? And now they're trying to take away from my family? Justin, I don't like that look on your face. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get your money back. You too, Trisha. Don't worry. Just don't mess with my sister anymore. You know how I am. I won't, Justin. I promise. I just didn't want to see Josh hurt again. I got it. Don't worry. Justin, please don't do anything dumb. Go to class. I'll see you after school. Want to walk to class together? Sure. I'd like that. <laughs> Justin, oh my god! Put it in her hand. Now. Apologize to the ladies. Trisha, I'm sorry I blackmailed you. It won't happen again. Jasmine, I'm sorry I made Trisha take your money. Anything else? Your brother won't be touched again. I promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for laughing at you, Trisha, and I'm sorry for being a part of it, Jasmine. It won't happen again. Thank you, Justin. Both of y'all, if I see y'all messing with them again, you're gonna regret it. Justin, I told you not to do anything crazy. I don't like bullies, and I don't like thieves. Those clowns are both, so they had it coming. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without y'all. Joshua's family, which means your family too. Don't forget that. I'll never doubt y'all again. Thank you, Justin. The moral of the story is, never stoop to anyone's level when they've hurt you. Life will get even for you. People who are secure within and love themselves should never hurt others.